Mrs. P, Mrs. Lighter, Mrs. Callahan, Mrs. Bird, Mrs. Rowe. We're sad to see you leave, but all the places you will go. On your next adventure, always remember all the places you'll go. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own. And you know what you do. And you are the guy who decides where to go. It's opener there in the wide open air. All their things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain above your elbow and shin. Do you dare stay out? Do you dare go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go, should you turn left or right? Or right and three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find. For a make a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You'll get so confused that you'll start into race down the long wiggly road at the breaknecking place and grind on for miles across the weirdest wild space headed I far toward the most un unused, unuseless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train, for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go. For the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow. Or waiting around for a yes or no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite. Or waiting around for a Friday night, or waiting perhaps for your Uncle Dick. Or a pot to boil, or a better break. Or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants. Or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting waiting and staying, you'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping once more, you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true, that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch. And your gang will fly on, and you'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bum, and then the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't let leg behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. On and on, you will hike. And I know you'll hike far. And face up to your problems, whatever they are. You get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot and your left. Because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because they'll play against you. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact and remember that life's a great balancing act. I But true, we will definitely miss you. you. Well, I she taught me how to play basketball. I remember her praying on the cross. She taught me how to jump around. She taught me how to pull. I 
remember sitting next to her at church. When you're going camping. If you want to see a bear, go with Ashley. If you don't want to see a bear, don't go with Ashley. Lessons learned with Mrs. Callaghan. We love you, Mrs. Burns. Thank you, Mrs. Burns. Thank you for teaching us taking games. Thank you for teaching me how to play tennis. Thank you for taking me on the tennis trip. We will miss you, Mrs. Burns. Thank you, Mrs. Leiter, for helping us grow in faith and learning to listen to God in our hearts from sixth grade. Thank you, Mrs. P, for teaching us how to stay in shape, pushing us to our fullest limit, and teaching us that exercise is important and fun. Thank you, Mrs. P, for introducing new traditions to our school that we will never forget. We wish you luck for the future and hope you have a fun and happy retirement. We truly appreciate all you have done for us. Thank you. Don't fight in the car or you'll be left behind. Or just go by yourself. Life, Life lessons, lessons from, from Mrs. Callahan. Callahan. Thank you for when our sports came for the prize. Thank you for being really nice. Thank you for um, playing with us. She lets us be in the middle. She... Thank you for letting us play Ghostbusters when we don't have anything else to do. Thank you for letting, letting us get drinks. We love you, Mrs. Burns! For helping us grow in our faith. Our favorite memory is when you dressed up as different characters from the Bible to help us grow in a more personal way. Thank you. Callahan for teaching us about the crayfish. Thank you. Thanks. We miss you, Mrs. Burns! And have a good week! Fun in the school. Thank you. Thank you. Love Mrs. Burns because she's a good teacher. She is great. Thank you, Mrs. Burns, for teaching us yoga. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Burns. We really appreciate it. Thanks. These are some of our memories from third grade in Mrs. Callahan's class. One day um, we were reading stories, and I asked Mrs. Callahan, "What page are we supposed to be on?" Um, she said, "Ask George." So I asked George, and he told me. Um, but then, when I asked um, George, she said, um, why are you talking? And she gave me a referral. One day in, fifth, er, in third grade, I was working on a worksheet, and I turned it into you, and she said this was an A work and crumpled it up and threw it in the garbage. In third grade, we had this yoga ball that we, that we sat on every day, and it was my turn to sit on it. And I was bouncing on it, and I had a pencil in my pocket, and it fell out, and then the ball popped. So in third grade, my crayfish died. <laughs> we put it in a plastic bag and put it in the freezer so maybe later we could dissect it. And we never got it out of the freezer, and it's still there to this day. Thank you, Mrs. P, for keeping us healthy and teaching us new things. Mrs. Callahan, you always tell great stories about the news. Fun news with Mrs. Callahan. Mrs. Rowe, thank you for being a marketing whiz and recruiting so many new families to our school. Best of luck in the future. Congratulations! Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Mrs. Burns is a great teacher. Thank you so much for teaching us! Exclamation <laughs> point. From sixth grade. One of the students that has had you cannot thank you enough for everything you've done for us. Thank you for always encouraging us to do our best and be the best that we can be. Thank you Mrs. Callahan for always supporting us. Thank you Mrs. P for a good year at LC. I really enjoyed the tennis unit. You will be missed! very much. Thank you for all you've given me for my first year at Lumen Christie. We love you. Enjoy traveling the world. We'll miss you. Enjoy your retirement. I hope your days are filled with everything that makes you happy. Congratulations, Dana, Bobby, Kathy, and Agnes. Thank you, Dana and Bobby, for all the skills and life lessons you have imported, imparted to so, so many students. Your years of dedication to Catholic education are admirable. You've been loyal servants, role models, and mentors to your fellow staff. Thank you. Kathy, wow. We go way back to our summer days at Parkway. 
Thank you for all you have shared with, no our, with not only our Lumen Christi students, but with my boys as well. You've been a team player and one who always created a very warm and inviting classroom, but mostly you've been my friend. Thank you. Agnes, where to begin? You've inspired me as a teacher and as a Catholic. Your perseverance, dedication, and love for your faith are bar none. Thank you for all you have done to inspire our students to stay faithful to God. You will be greatly missed. Teachers, thank you so much for all your years of service to LC. I'm so glad I was able to work along side you and I hope you all have a wonderful retirement. We will miss you so much. Thank you for the time and dedication that you guys have all given to our school and our students and being wonderful leaders for our staff. We love you so much. I will miss you dearly and I looked up to you all as role models. Um, so you will be greatly missed. Enjoy your new life. I have been blessed to work with you for so many years. Good luck in retirement. Hope you have a lot of fun. We'll miss you. We will miss you guys so much. Thank you for everything. Congratulations on your retirement. I'm so happy for all of you. Um, thank you for everything that you've done for the kids of Lumen Christi and for my own kids. I did hear that uh, there were some alums that were thinking about having one more Mrs. P mile run. So that might be something to look forward to. Take care and God bless. To Mrs. Callahan, Mrs. Burns, Mrs. Polakowski, Mrs. Leiter, and Mrs. Rowe. We're going to so miss not having you in our school next year. You have been so gracious with your generosity, with your expertise. We love seeing you smile through the hallways and everything that you've taught the kids we will never forget. You've made good memories for us and I hope that we have made them for you as well. I will say a prayer for you that you enjoy your time not being here, but we hope that you come back and know that we are always your family here. We love you. Thank you for your years of dedication and hard work. Good luck on your next adventure. We will miss seeing you. Kathy, Bobby, Dana, Agnes, thank you so much for your years of service to Lumen Christi. Your dedication is what helps make us a great school. Best wishes for all of you. Teachers, we are so going to miss you next year. Thank you so much for all your hard work and dedication in the last few years, or many years. We're going to miss you much. Enjoy the next chapter in your life. I know it's going to be a good one. I just wanted to pass on my well wishes for you as you move on to the next adventure of your life. It's been such a pleasure to work with each one of you, and we will miss you greatly. Best of luck. Ms. and the first time I met you, within five minutes, we had figured out that you were my husband's first grade teacher. Best of luck on your new role as grandma. Best of luck, Mrs. Callahan. You're an awesome teacher. We'll miss you. Wishing all of you a great retirement, and Agnes, I hope you land in a wonderful place for yourself. Dana, you are hard shoes to fill. You have been such a wonderful person for our PE program. I finally got it right. And Kathy, I've really enjoyed working with you in math, and I wish you all the best in your retirement. I hope you come back to visit us all soon. Take care. Thank you so much for all your time and energy and dedication to the kids of the Lumen Christi all these years. We're going to miss you so much. Have a great summer. Thanks, teachers, for all your hard work. Hi, everybody. I wanted to thank you all for everything you've done for making uh, Lumen Christi the best place it's been. You've all contributed in your own way, and we're going to miss you next year. Enjoy your time without us, though. Bye. Hey, congratulations, everybody. We're going to miss you a ton. Um, but you may not miss us, and that's normal and fine. So we'll see you around. Congratulations. We'll miss you. Enjoy your time away. You will all be missed. From the office, Laura, Kathy, Agnes, Bobby, Dina. We'll miss you guys. Dina, Bobby, Kathy, Agnes, and Laura, I want to thank you for the years you have given to Lumen Christi our students, our staff, and all of those members of our school community. You have given your love, your time, your commitment, and dedication to making the school grow. I am forever grateful for you for that. I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Please know that we're always here for you, and we hope you continue to keep in touch with us and let us know how things are going. Enjoy retirement. To those of you retiring, you've definitely deserved it. Hey, everybody. Uh, enjoy. Thank you for all the time that you have uh, given to 
Lumen Christi and the students here and enjoy whatever God has in store for you next. Hi, Dana, Bobby, Agnes, Laura, and Kathy. On behalf of all the parents, thank you so much for your years of service to Lumen Christi. We love you. To Bobby, Dana, Agnes, Callahan, and Laura. Even though we are saying goodbye, your legacy truly lives on. Your departure brings a heartfelt sigh, but remember, as the new future dawns, no one will ever refer to P.E. as G.Y.M. Because of your efforts, our faith lives will continue to grow, and stories about Callahan will remain like a gem. And all our new families will remind us of Mrs. Rowe. Thanks for all your hard work and dedication at LC, and best of luck in your new adventure. I'm not saying goodbye because I'm going to miss each and every one of you. I'm going to say best of luck in your new adventures. I know that you're going to all love exactly what you're going to be going on to, moving on to. Um, but I really want to thank all of you. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I want to thank all of you um, for everything you have done for Lumen Christi School to make it what it is. Um, you've impacted Lumen Christi in so many special ways, and we are going to miss you more than you have any idea. We wish you all the best in your retirement. God bless you and enjoy your time with family and friends. It's been a pleasure teaching with you.